Yeah, it's Mark here and uh, I'm back for <laughs> a little bit of break. I just wanted to kind of talk a bit about what's happened in the last year or so since um, my last blog. Um, well, it's been a bit been a bit of an up and down roller coaster ride really. Um, pleased to say things are quite settled now. But yeah, last August, um, you know, I had my operation and my last vlog was in September and I was recovering and that was all fine and uh, great. Um, in October, we kind of kind of moved temporarily up to Scotland to stay with my mother-in-law, um, which we would always plan to do for a few months before moving to Canada. Um, so that was fine, really uh, nice time up there. Um, but yeah, I transferred my care to Scotland and um, yeah, my original plan was always to have more chemo. But when I got to Scotland, they, they did a series of tests just to kind of, um, kind of work out you know what they thought was going on with me and uh, the always always the intention was to have more chemotherapy but they you know they, they saw my collection of uh, fluid or pus whatever it is in my bowel that's a result of a complication of the surgery that I had originally and they were really concerned about that um, they wouldn't give me any chemotherapy whilst that was there um, so the decision was taken that the best option was to um, not have chemotherapy and just uh, monitor the um, collection, which is uh, that's what they did, you know. Um, in November, my son was born, uh, November 21st. So, um, yeah, just for a few months, I just, uh, you know, played the stay at home dad and looked after my son and my wife, um, just while waiting to, um, you know, start my job in Canada, which I set up a start date for March. Um, and so we were just waiting, you know, and that was always going to happen. And so we had Christmas, it was a great time. Um, then in January I had uh, set a series of uh, routine scans. And that, well, I had a CT scan. And that showed up, um, as far as I was to understand at the time, a, uh, a tumour on my lung. And uh, they also kind of thought I had suspected um, osteomyelitis on my sacrum. And... Um, yeah, well, that was a pretty big shock, really, you know, considering I was just about to get on with my life, move to Canada, to a new job, to live a dream that I'd always had, which was to move to Canada. Uh, I had my work permit in place, you know, everything was going well for me. I had a healthy son, happy wife, happy life, you know, and, uh, yeah, just to have that bombshell thrown, you know, after everything that we'd been through last year, you know, just to be told, oh, yeah, you've got a suspected tumour on your lung and osteomyelitis, you know, you're going to be needing a hell of a lot more treatment this year, possibly, you know, probably a permanent colostomy, you're going to have to have your bowel removed, you know, big news really. Um, anyway, so I made the decision, you know, <laughs> to go back to my old uh, team at Royal Marsden Hospital um, and Epsom Hospital and, you know, so I transferred my care back down there and, um, yeah, they kind of, you know, second opinion, they had a PET scan which uh, showed there was no cancer, no, no visible, discernible sign of any cancer in my lung or anywhere in my whole body. And uh, I had a white blood cell scan as well um, to detect um, infection of the bone. And they couldn't, they couldn't see if I had uh, any um, osteomyelitis either. So <laughs> it's kind of a real big double-edged sword of a diagnosis, you know, to be told, one day to be told that you don't have, that you've got cancer and osteomyelitis and you're going to need to have a permanent colostomy and a whole load of cancer treatment, to being told, uh, yeah, we can't find anything wrong with you. Uh, yeah, you've got a few nodules on your lung, but that's nothing that we wouldn't expect someone of your age and everyone in this room has probably got them as well. Um, so... Yeah, you're fit to go back to work and, you know, get on with your life, get back on the world, you know. So, all of a sudden, this was in February, all of a sudden, you know, I found myself just having to, you know, work out what to do next. And um, I'd already told the guys in Canada that, you know, I couldn't go there. I, I'd resigned from my job. I thought I was going to be having, you know, another year of treatment, but it just wasn't on the on the cards to go to go there, you know, I still need to have follow-up investigations and they, the team in the Royal Marsden were keen for me to stay in the UK 
decided to find a new job, <laughs> which I, which I did, and um, yeah, I just found that uh, for a couple of weeks it took me to get a new job. There were not many jobs around in the UK for senior hydrogeologists, so I was very lucky to find one um, up in in Staffordshire, which is where my family and I have now moved to. So we're quite happy here, um, becoming very settled. Um, just living a really great family life, you know. My wife, you know, she looks after my son. I go to work, very, very typical. Um, but it's just great, and we're so happy just uh, living life as we are at the moment. Um, yeah, work's going well. I've been traveling for work, you know, Kazakhstan. Got a trip to Cuba planned soon. Um, yeah, it's all good. So, um, next thing coming up is just. Uh, more routine scans at the end of August, which I'm hoping will just be, you know, come back negative and then we can breathe easy, breathe easy for another six months and just we have to live our lives on a day by day basis. But it's it's just when it comes around to this time when you know you've got scans coming up, it's really really difficult to kind of just look look past them really. So uh, yeah, we're just just hoping at the end of the month that we get some good news and we can just continue our lives as we are now. So. Yeah, that's it. And uh, I'll uh, I'll do a blog end of August when I get these results, and hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be good news. Thanks. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Hello, This is good for daddy's arms, James. <laughs> Holding 10 kilograms. <laughs> <laughs> Was that fun? <laughs> Go on, daddy, do it again. Do the workout. I'll get you in the position, James. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs>